You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to ongoing coverage here at CES Live. It is CES 2014. It is. And we're having a great time. It's like almost the end. We're not quite there, but I'm not we're ready getting to stop close yet. I want to, to keep the going. end of day three. Day three. Crazy. He's Renee Ritchie. She's Callie Lewis. <laughs> and uh, wow, we uh, this is the first time that we've gotten to Absolutely. like host together. We've I been was, switching out hosts all day. I had the lovely and talented John Paws with me most of the week. Yeah, he's awesome. He is awesome. <laughs> and now you're here. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to see how we work together. It should be fine. And we guys, we want you to chime in on the chat room, so we're paying attention. Ask questions about our, our next guest. But before we get to that, we want to make sure that you remember to go to geekbeat.tv slash contest because we have all sorts of amazing giveaways, like 20 Scotty Vest jackets. It's unbelievable. We have um, the QNAP routers that we're giving away. We have so many thousands and thousands upon thousands of dollars. And also, we have the uh, CAF is coming on Kef later today. CAF is coming today. on, the speakers. We have, did you know this? We have two M200s, which are the earbuds, and they're like $200 That's each. insane. And then we have the M500s, which are the over-the-ear headphones, which are like $399 can I can we each. pause for a second so oh, I can I've got them over there. He's, he's right there. Holding them up. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to be giving those away, and you guys make sure you go and enter because... Heck, I, I want to enter. And it's so easy, too. We have all the different social ways for you to do it. There's absolutely no excuse not to enter now. Exactly. All so right. Easy. Shall we see our next guest? We've got Structure IO. Welcome. Uh, Thank you. Adam and Jeff, right? That's right. Yes. Woohoo. <laughs> so tell us what Structure IO is. So Structure IO is actually the site for the Structure Sensor, which is a 3D sensor that attaches to the iPad. We have one right here today. We'll show it to you. 3D sensor for the iPad. It, I saw you playing with it over there. I, yeah. I was like, what the heck is that? All right, let's take a look. Yeah. So serious I'm, I'm hardware. I'm getting my VisiWig camera going over here. Yeah, OK. So this is the iPad. Hold it up from the, from the front. It looks like a case, like half a case that's on it. And then there's this interesting little uh, attachment. So this is a 3D sensor, you said? That's right. So what that means is that in addition to the normal color that you get from the camera that's built in, you also get depth or you get 3D distance. Okay. And so we're, we're streaming the depth data from the sensor to the iPad. And then from there, software takes over and does some pretty incredible things. So it's, a, so it's the hardware plus the app. And it's iPad, iOS, I, I can't even say it. iOS. iOS only. <laughs> I know that one. Right. <laughs> so, so is this like stereoscopic? Is that how it works? How is it getting this depth data? So it's getting it using a combination of uh, structured light and an infrared camera. So structured light is emitted So which out. one was which? This is structured light sensor, okay. or emitter, and this is an infrared camera. And what are these? And these are additional illuminators. These are LEDs. And those, instead of emitting a pattern of structured light, they emit a smooth bathing in infrared light. What is structured light? When you say it, it makes me start thinking about particles versus waves again. It's, <laughs> it's basically like particles. So we're, we're shooting out particles, essentially lots of laser beams, and they're being shot out into the scene. And the shift in those laser beams, depending on the distance of the object, is how we determine the, the depth. And that, and that I turn that into a depth stream that looks a lot like an image stream, but instead of color, we have distance. Okay, so why would I want this? That's a great question. There's a lot of reasons why you'd actually want it. Um, one of the things that's obviously really big at CES this year is 3D printing. Yes. But if you don't know CAD, it's hard to create your own yeah. content to Correct. 3D print. With this, one of the things you can do is use it as a 3D scanner and move around objects, even people like yourselves, um, to print out on a 3D printer. So I, so basically, this would ingest into my my 3D printer into CAD. Uh, yeah. Like how, you, how how exactly? You could you could actually send it directly to a 3D printer. You could send it to a service like Shapeways or you could send it into CAD to manipulate and uh, improve the object. And you don't need to do anything else. Um, and is it 100% accurate? Like if I have a little 
let's say, a China doll that I want to 3D print. I don't know why I would want to 3D print a China doll, you want but a I do. For your China doll. Exactly. So let's say I have that, and I what I go around the yeah. object, mm -hmm. and it'll be 100% accurate, or like well, how how does that work? Well, just like cameras, these things are improving. They start out with a lower resolution, and over time, okay. you'll see them getting better. So you can absolutely do that today. You can scan objects around the size of a small doll to the size of a person and actually up to the size of a room. We've Whoa. tuned this sensor to work in pretty large environments and do pretty large objects. Some of the sensors that are out there, some of the scanners that are out there today from the 3D printing companies are designed for very small objects. And we're kind of filling the gap for larger objects. Interesting, can we see this in action? Yeah, sure. so why don't I fire it up? Simply put, this is the easiest way to capture three-dimensional content in the world that okay. we know of. Put your world of. into you, your iPad. Renee, yes. you work the I roving camera, to. the BusyWig camera. Right. I guess you're gonna take a picture Whoops, of sorry. me. Yep, I'm gonna scan you. Do I do I have to stand exactly still? You have still? to hold still, because like, if you okay. move, it'll get a little Can confused. Can I move my eyes or what? Um, no. no. Do you not <laughs> move? <laughs> so if you can see this, we've got a pretty intuitive interface where this cube is actually being positioned on the table and we're lighting up in red and yellow the object we want to scan. Huh. So I'm going to point at Callie here, and we're going to switch to a Wait, different Wait, which mode. one do I look at? Look right, I don't know. Look at, look at the middle. OK. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to point it right at her face, press Start, and we're already capturing a model. And why are you moving it side to side? I'm trying to get more perspective. So I didn't walk all the way around her, but with just that few seconds, I was able to get the, fir the first half. Oh, wow, look at that. Hey, you can see inside me. Yeah, there <laughs> so, so just like that, and of course, if I would have walked around, we would have completed the full model. You can look at it. It's colored. It's using the color from the iPad's 5 megapixel camera. You can zoom in. You can zoom and what out. is the resolution of this version? So this version, uh, it's kind of hard to quantify the resolution. The max res of the sensor at the minimum distance of 40 centimeters can get about a millimeter of accuracy. Okay. Now this particular model is maybe three or four millimeters of accuracy because we're smoothing it out a little bit to get rid of noise. I can also take a look at the actual geometry. Oh. It's kind of like an X-ray. Polygon game. Cali. <laughs> <laughs> that Just is like that. very interesting. If you ever wanted to be in a video game, Cali, we can put you in now. So totally. Okay, so what other options do we have? So what we is... pressed X-ray. We talked about the ability to send it to a 3D printing yes. company. Um, you could send this to a, a 3D systems printer, to a MakerBot, or even a 3D printing service like okay. Shapeway. So yeah. we even have a button here. I could press Just this, Shapeway. and in a few seconds, you would be available for purchase on Shapeway. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> so we won't push that button for okay. now. <laughs> we also can uh, close the model, uh, you know, prepared for 3D printing, and you can export it in different formats. Watertight. Yep. So that would essentially make you a solid. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> that is awesome, actually. That the chat room is going crazy. They're, they they love this. Yeah. Um, they're pretty impressed. So um, yeah. go ahead. Oh, what I else? was just going to say, there's more you can do with this. Oh, okay. Um, so this is a 3D scanning demo. Some people are curious of is this iOS only, Android, other platforms. Yeah. You can actually remove this cable, which is the Apple Lightning cable. You can remove this and attach a different cable oh. It allows you to attach it to different devices. It actually, we have another cable that we call the USB hacker cable. Mm -hmm. You can plug it right into a Windows computer, a Mac, a Linux. But the app works on all those as well? This app is target. this particular demo app that we showed is only on iOS, okay. but we're providing open source drivers for other platforms. And it's and actually interesting that you'd mentioned the app because what's unique about the structure sensor versus some other devices you see is that the 3D scanner that we just showed you is an app. Um, because this is a hardware device, it's actually a platform for anything that might use depth. And some of the things that we're really interested in, kind of like what Jeff talked about before, being able to capture an entire space. So you could go to your house, your apartment, capture the entire thing, send it to somebody halfway around the world to go walk around in, in an Oculus Rift. Could they redecorate it for me after I've captured it? Uh. Absolutely. <laughs> I need yeah. help. Not only that, but you can you know, click your ratty couch and then virtually eliminate it and then replace it with something else. Now, if I'm in one of those fantastic 3D worlds, I could essentially rebuild my room and put myself in it and become part of that world. So this, be, this you know, we're moving towards the matrix, right? Yeah. We're really excited <laughs> about augmented reality, but not cheesy augmented reality, really interesting augmented reality where the actual structure of the objects around you are part of the game, are part of the world. Uh, we have a demo that we can't show here because of the, the space, but we actually can virtually insert a little pet that will run in and around different objects. 
And actually, when it runs under the table, it disappears because it's blocked by the real yeah. table. So we can do very accurate and interesting augmented reality. Well, where do you see the future? I mean, like, you know, talking yeah. five, seven, ten years down the road of these types of applications. You want to take that? Yeah, well, I'd say, you know, what we think the future looks like is this technology embedded in phones and tablets and wearable devices. We think it's going to be ubiquitous. And uh, we were really excited about that future. To us, it wasn't coming soon enough, which is actually why we built this. Because those apps we talked about, um, we think that there are going to be apps like those, but also apps we don't even know about. Yeah. Uh, developers, when they get a hold of a new sense on a mobile device, tend to go crazy and create awesome stuff that we never imagined. And so uh, it's hard to predict, but we know that this is going to be something that's a really deeply integrated part of our mobile future, and we just want to be the ones that help make bring our that cameras on. smarter. Yeah. Much smarter. Yeah. That is awesome. Uh, BB, the guy who keeps asking for BB10 apps, <laughs> I remember that entire username on uh, our chat room. Uh, he says it would be perfect for realtors as well, and so he's Absolutely. excited about that. Very, very cool. Guys, it's, it's structure.io, structure.io on the website. So you guys go check that out. Go buy me at <laughs> Shapeways. We're not, no. we're not selling Kelly. We're not selling me. <laughs> Thank you so much for the demo. This is very exciting. I can't wait to see where it goes next. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, right, you guys, be sure to uh, keep watching all day long. We have more great stuff coming up. And Renee? Callie? We'll be back. Right back. <laughs>